around next week or Fine. do you know where you are next week? Jackson with the aerial ball. It's a long aerial ball as well. It's brought under control by Sam Ward. Ward turns inside, past three Wimbledon players, and Wimbledon in trouble here because Richard Lane's all unmarked. And the skipper gives the visitors the lead after only four minutes. A wonderful combination between Jackson and Ward. And then Ward, with his head up, sees the captain on the far post, plays it in. And there's nothing that James Bailey can do about that. Great start for the visitors here. And then down this right hand side. Fired in to Osborne. Osborne well, with plenty of players around him. Lovely skill from Osborne. Osborne's still going. Can he find a way past Pinner? No, he can't. But what a wonderful piece of individual school from James Osborne as he spins away from Martin Robbins. Pass Middleton, then Fox, but he can't make it a hat-trick of England players because Pin is there and needs two attempts to keep the ball out. Catlin with the injection, and it's Ashley Jackson, and Jackson makes it. Wimbledon nil, Holcomb two after 17 minutes. Good disguise on the drag flick, opens up the wrists at the last moment, and Bailey is beaten to his left. Four come Wimbledon once more. This is Brogdon down in the corner with Martin Robbins. Tennis. Robin gives away the free hit and quickly taken by Brogdon. Brogdon into the circle. Brogdon, can he finish it off? No, he can't. Wonderful skill from Brogdon. As he comes inside, he beats Fox, then he beats Trussler, and as he fires in the shot, Johnny Kinder's in front of the keeper, but he can't get a touch, and it's past the far post. This is Dawson Smith, this right-hand side. Fired into Wiegman. Wiegman with the shots, and it's beaten Pinner, and Wimbledon are on the scoreboard. Peter Wiegman gets... Wimbledon's account open on match day two and as he spins does it get a deflection off Trussler's stick yes it does and that's the touch that defeats Pinner ball into Earl Smith Earl Smith still going finds Catlin Catlin pass one now he's in the circle and Catlin's shot half saved by Bailey and Sam Ward is the quickest to react and Ward makes it Wimbledon 1, Holcomb 3. But I think Wimbledon will have some questions about the de their defence here. Mike Hoare is beaten, but then there's no challenge from when he crosses the 23 metre line. Good finish by Ward. Catlin finds Furl Smith. Back to Catlin again. Bell Smith cuts back inside and gets a return pass from Catlin. Bell Smith into the circle. Again, no challenge from a Wimbledon defender. And again, it's a goal for Holcomb. Bell Smith with a fine finish. But Wimbledon defending is missing again. No challenge once again for a Holcomb player running from the 23-metre line. As Catlin plays it back to Bell Smith, he picks it up outside the 23-metre line. And as he crosses it, no one goes anywhere near him. And he's allowed to waltz into the circle and finish past Bailey. So Wimbledon have a penalty corner, which really they've got to convert. Roper leaves it to Dawson Smith. And Dawson Smith finds the back of the net. A well-worked variation from the top of the circle from Wimbledon. And they've got a lifeline here. Roper with a little spin. And he leaves it for Dawson Smith to beat Pinner. Holcomb once more and the free hit is given away, taken quickly up into Ward Sam Ward and Ward's got plenty of space and Ward makes it a second goal on the day, his sixth of the season after four against Canterbury last week but once again Wimbledon's defence goes AWOL as he spins away from Brogdon, there's no one within five metres of Ward and he doesn't need a second invitation from that distance. 
Cerulus goes up the line and uh, here goes Phil Bort. Bort on the reverse stick, gets it into Roper and Roper finishes on the reverse stick as well. Have a look at Phil Ball's cross on the upright reverse stick. Such a difficult skill to execute. He makes it look so easy here. Look at this. There it is. Perfect. Roper picks it up, drags it right to left, gives himself some space and fires it into the roof of the net. Game back on. So Wimbledon through Jewel, driving at the circle. Fox comes across, makes the tackle. Now, Wimbledon could be made to pay here. There's no one at home. Here's Ward for the hat-trick. Ward against Bailey. The lob is on. And the lob is wide. Disappointment for Sam Ward. But Bailey, well, he did all he could do, really. And Ward's right up just a little bit out. Middleton gets the ball back and there is the final whistle and Holcomb make it two wins from two they've defeated Wimbledon by five goals to three and surely they'll be top of the table this evening